Hello, and welcome to the ultimate battle of Ultimate Fighters, featuring the eight strongest competitors this world has ever seen. Austin, Alex, Michael, Baxter, and Eugene, June, and Gib. Today, these eight fighters will enter into a tournament that it's not clear any of them will survive. So as we shuffle this board, the ultimate battle of ultimate friends is about to be underway. And the first match begins. Let's go. So going in to the quarterfinals right off the bat, we're going to have an early rivalry between Anne and Alex, the first two up to bat. Now Anne, of course, as the me gunner against Alex, as the me brawler. It is going to be an interesting fight coming out here on a two. Battlefield stage duck hunt. So three stocks on each character. They're going to go going up. Alex already with some early damage on Anne, but Anne already countering in the air. Gets a good little grenade toss on Alex. Not going to be able to connect a second hit, though. Alex trying to get back in here into this fight, but so far Anne is dominating in the early percent. Alex with a good neutral B. A second aerial combo as well to try to claim some percent, but then just suicides himself right off the edge. And now, Anne with an early advantage. Alex just trying to do anything he can to get himself back into this fight. And just using that position just to try to get herself some grenades on the ground, get Alex out of the immediate vicinity. And now Alex just jumping around trying to get some good hits. Another good kick connects. Alex tossing that grenade out, gets Alex with it again. Oh, a th third as well. And Anne doing a good job with this third st or with this first stock, just getting this early damage onto Alex. Ooh, nice dodge there from Alex and good connection. Onto some additional damage. Neither player are gonna jump right off. Dogs howling in the background. They are not excited for Alex's chances right now. A helicopter kick gonna be able to keep him on the stage. And Anne right now just trying to do anything she can with this rightmost platform. Alex not gonna be killed just yet, but it is not looking good for him. This first this first stock has lasted Anne for so long. And now Alex on his final smash. Is he going to want to waste it just to get rid of this first stock from Anne? She's been holding on to it for so long. Anne finally gets the first stock, the final smash, but Alex able to take her out. And now this final smash could be huge. He just has to try to connect onto it here. And not looking to give him any space. And Alex going to whiff. Uses it on the leftmost platform. Not going to be able to connect onto Anne. A perfect shield gets him a little bit of a combo potential, but not able to connect onto it. And Anne takes the second stock easily. Up two to one now, and Alex right off the gate just trying to get this percent, trying to equalize the fight. Ooh, looked a little bad for him, but the helicopter kick gonna get him back on, but Anne now on the final smash. She has it ready. Is she gonna be able to connect with it here? Ooh, neither player gonna fall there. Good recoveries from both. Ooh, and Alex just doing such a good such a good job on this final stock, taking Anne to 100 already, and look at this! What looks like a blowout from the start, Alex is fighting his way back into it, one step at a time, and Anne gonna use the final smash and it connects on Alex, Alex is getting some way too far to stage, and that's it! Anne takes the first match of the ultimate battle of ultimate friends here in Smash Ultimate. It was a good fight from Alex, but that early damage that he got off from Anne, it was just not much he could do with it, and now... And gonna be our first competitor moving into the semifinals, but now it's a match truly everyone's been waiting for. It's Austin versus Eugene. Austin on the me brawler and Eugene on the me gunner. So let's see if it's gonna be a mimic of exactly what we just saw in the first round. Eugene going off early, trying to connect onto some of these grenades. Austin gonna get a counter, but not able to connect it on any damage. Ooh, getting an early 40% on Eugene, but not currently able to get anything else. Eugene coming right back into it with 37% of his own, and both players fighting for this left edge, eventually able to recover. And right now, Austin's trying to play his counters pretty well. Oh, gets a good, perfect shield into a grab. And now, trying to bully Eugene into losing this first stock. Eugene doing a good job not falling for anything, though. Just narrowing his way up to the top platform. And now Austin, ooh, a perfect shield from Eugene. But 91%. And this is going to be difficult. Eugene going to charge up his blast. 
Might use it here to try to edge guard. I don't know if he was actually able to fully charge it in the up air. Isn't going to finish off Austin just yet, but at 105%, both these players are close to kill. Ooh. Austin going to be able to recover himself just there. Gets Eugene off the stage this time. And who's going to be the first one to lose the stock? Eugene with some rocket boost recovery. And now, Austin just jumping around in this rightmost platform, trying to get himself some position here to get in and finish off. Eugene, a perfect shield could be it, but not able to connect anything. And once again, Eugene getting knocked off the stage. Austin finally with his final smash, but Eugene finds the first stock. But at 120%, Austin could just finish him off pretty quick here. Eugene, final smash for him. He is going to connect it and... Is he going to be able to find the second stock? He is! And Eugene is playing out of his mind right now, 140%. But he's already taken down two of Austin's stocks. And now, Austin has to try to find some some way to get back into us, and he takes the first stock. Now, he does have his Brawler special. While it's not as good at clearing the opponent off the stage as the Me Gunner special, it could be enough to try to find him the second stock, but he's taking a lot of damage right now from Eugene. Eugene getting him to 60% already. Austin gets the final smash. He's going to be able to do some good damage here, but I don't believe it's going to be able to kill. It's on the top platform, and it's not going to be enough. Eugene goes to 61%. The percents are equal, but keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we do have Eugene one stock up in this fight already. Now, Eugene. Ooh, tries to go for a little bit of a, a forward tilt there. Not going to be able to connect it as Austin does get a shield off. The up air doing a little bit of extra damage, and these fighters, Austin trying his best to just hang on, try to find something that could recover him back into this. Eugene. Gets off the side, but he is going to be able to recover, and Austin needs to figure out something he can do there. He's at 117%, and Eugene just charging up this neutral B. Oh, and he's going to finish it! And that's Eugene taking down Austin. And then both of me gunners so far playing phenomenally going to be moving into the semifinals. And Eugene able to win it 3-1 to one very handedly. Like, phenomenal play coming out of him. So now we're going to move into the right side of the bracket where we have Michael versus June for the first fight. Michael, of course, playing as the Mii Brawler, the third one in the tournament. And June going to be on the Mii Sword Fighter. So, it's going to be interesting. We're going into Battlefield mode of the Pikmin map. Never remember the name of this one, but an early up throw from Michael going to do some nice damage. June trying to connect on to... Oh, and the recovery finishes him! He goes for the up B to try to get himself some damage onto Michael, but that leaves him with no recovery. Michael doesn't hit him back, and June just falls. Michael with a very early stock advantage, and only at 50%. June is trying to make up for this, though, getting some shurikens in, trying to just do some extra damage, and Michael is just getting punished right now, already at 100%. The hurricane kick is going to allow him to recover. Doesn't get too much extra damage onto June, however. Remember, June is already one stock down. Michael, anything he can do here is a huge help for him. He's got June already at 60%. Gonna bully him back into the air. Ooh. Gets out of June's sword just in case. And right now, Michael looks like he could be taking two stocks here if, June, if June's not careful. June? Ooh. Gets hit into the neutral B, but isn't gonna be there for long. A perfect shield from Michael allows him to get right back in. Oh, and some nice hits from both players, both at kill percent. Oh, a nice up, nice up tilt from June. Gonna get Michael into the air. Michael does not want to use the smash attack just yet, but it looks like June might be forcing his hand. June is gonna force him off the edge. No recovery available for Michael. Used his tornado kick, but or used his helicopter kick, but isn't gonna be enough. And June wastes his final smash. Michael able to jump right over the end, right over his head, and now Michael with a huge advantage. June gonna get hit to 140. Michael, bullying him up to 150. If he can get an up throw here, it could be it. But June's actually gonna be the one to connect to the up throw. Not enough percent to kill off the top. Both players at their second stock. Oh, and that's gonna be it. Michael gonna finish off that second stock. And now, it's not looking good for June. The percents are pretty equal, but Michael with a one stock advantage, giving him a massive Massive lead in this fight. The perfect shield gonna lead into a nice little damage connection from Michael. Ooh, Michael. Gonna be doing some good damage onto June, and now with this final smash, this could be it. If he can get a good hit here onto June, this could finish the job. 
Oh, and he hits it! Is this gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen? He, June's gonna be going up to 70, going up to 80. Gonna get hit, and that's gonna be it! And Michael finds June, and finally a me brawler is able to overcome the competition in the most unlikely of circumstances with Michael claiming the win against June. So it's time to figure out who our final semi-finalist of the tournament is going to be. With Gib versus Baxter, two me sword fighters entering the ring here. And these two, they have been friends for quite some time, so it's going to be going to be a bit of a heartbreaker. This is a thing, this is a battle that we could have truly seen in the finals, but it doesn't look like it's going to be the case and one of the two of these people, one of the two of these brave soldiers will be going home. Right now, they're just trying to shield each other, try to fake each other out, and Baxter with a bit, little bit of an early lead. Gib just trying to find their way in, and ooh, nice damage from Baxter. Gib, quick to respond, though. The counter going to come out from Baxter. Gib not going to fall for it. Ooh, the perfect shield! That's going to give Baxter a grab throw opportunity. He connects with it, but Gib, with a nice edge guard, not going to be able to lose too much percent out of that. Ooh, Baxter with a good side punish, and that's it! Gib falls right off the app. Right off the edge of the map. Now Gim has to try to recover here. Ooh. Good edge guard from Gib, but not gonna be able to punish Baxter here. Both players just dancing around, trying to see who can get the edge. Gib trying to make up for some lost ground, but Baxter still one stock ahead. Ooh. Nice side B, but not gonna be able to find anything. Now, Gib. Trying to find some way to punish Baxter at this edge. Not going to find it just yet, but Baxter, 73%. Ooh, gets perfect shielded there by Gib, and now Gib could have an opportunity. Ooh, but Baxter going to get a counter perfect shield. The Shuriken's coming out just to try to find some sort of damage. 83% on Baxter. And Gib needs to find something here. Ooh, a good connection with the side B. Going to launch Baxter, and that's going to put him at 98%, 120. Gib, this could be your opportunity. Gib can't find this final hit. A down throw up tilt could be all she needs. Oh, and the final smash gonna be covered by Gib. Gib doesn't want to use this here when Baxter still a stock up. Gets the counter. Both players on their final smashes. Baxter wouldn't mind using it. But Gib on the final smash, on the final stock, and that's it. Baxter gonna fall just the way of Gib. Now Gib. Needs to do something here to try to make up for this percent difference, and that's not going to work. Gib trying to play around on that top platform, but Baxter going to be able to punish him. And now, Gib with it all to do. Ooh. Baxter is higher in percent right now, but with the whole stock to play with, you got to feel like it's slightly in his advantage. And by slightly, I mean very much so as he gets his final smash before Gib can. But Gib just punishing him in the air right now, already at 100%. Ooh, Gib trying to edge guard. They're not able to connect onto it. Baxter trying to find a good opportunity to use this final smash, but with Gib at such low percent, there's not really an, a too appealing one at the moment. Oh, and that's it! Gib at 15% able to punish Baxter. It's a one stock game. And Gib's gonna be the one to recover their final smash first. Has Gib brought this back? Gib has to find a good opportunity to use this final smash. This could be it. You could close out the game here. A perfect shield isn't going to allow any combos off that right side. But Gib able to connect onto the final smash. And is this it for Baxter? Is he going to be able to recover? He's not. He wastes, the, he wastes his up B and that's it. Gib from the brink of defeat is able to claim Baxter's life and get herself back in to the semifinals. And Baxter, a good fight from him, but... Uh, that that final smash and that was just such a beautiful play from Gib on the final stock being able to take out two of Baxter's stocks and now we move into the semifinals and on the left side it's a fight not many were expecting it's Anne versus Eugene both me gunners both proven themselves to be very proficient with their weapons and now we're gonna see who can claim it as we go onto Battlefield Witch Tower some grenades already being thrown out. Both players are trying to find some way to punish the others right off the bat. And that's going to be Anne taking the first major blow. Ooh, a good connection onto the missile as well. But Eugene is going to be able to recover it. Eugene taking some very early damage, but Anne walking right into some projectiles. And that's a good little 40% from Eugene. Ooh, and look at that little connection from Anne. 
Right now, both players seeming fairly well matched. As 30 seconds into this game, we already have Eugene on the brink of death for the first stock. He is going to be able to recover it. Gets himself into mid-stage, but ooh, the neutral B from N. Ooh, and the grenade from Eugene. And this is a very close fight so far. The percents are neck and neck. And right now, Ann, ooh, trying to edge guard with the grenade. Not going to connect it. Good jump from Eugene to get over it. Oh, and the punish! And Ann, just able to spike Eugene down into the pit. And that's going to be it for the first stock of Eugene. Right now, Ann, trying to get some percent off before this stock falls. She knows she's right on the brink. Gets an early three. Ooh, and the grenade going to connect. And now Eugene doesn't mind using this final smash. He wants to equal out the stock game, and he's going to do just that. Only taking 5% there, and that's a beautiful play of the second stock there from Ann. Trying to just get herself some early damage there, try to just get herself some a little bit of room to work with, but Eugene playing it perfectly, just by, by, buying himself some time, just getting himself below the platforms, not falling for any projectiles, and then when the final smash comes out, just uses that to get an advantage. That being said, Eugene already sitting at 80% and Anne about to be on final smash. If Anne can finish off Eugene before the final smash, this could be deadly for Eugene. However, Eugene... Doing a good job just spacing himself out, but perfect shields left, right, and center, and now it's going to be Anne on Final Smash. She's going to be trying to see if there's any way to get herself a win without using it. But it looks like she might just want to use it just to secure herself this stock, but she doesn't need it. And up air going to connect onto Eugene, and that means that Anne just moments away, possibly, from getting herself into the finals of the Ultimate Battle of Ultimate Friends. Uses the grenade, gets herself back up. A good recovery from Eugene, though, and neither player going to fall to it. And now Anne gets herself the final smash, connects it onto Eugene. Is this going to be the kill? It looks like it could be Eugene. Is he going to be able to recover? He's not! And that's Anne getting herself into the finals. And Eugene put off a great fight. He was able to connect onto that third stock, of, or onto that first stock of Anne and equalize the scoreboard, but it's going to be Eugene to fall. And now Anne in the finals for the first ever Ultimate Battle of Ultimate Friends. But it's time to figure out who her opponent is gonna be. Is it gonna be the Bruiser from, uh, the, fr from Pennsylvania, Michael? Or is it gonna be the, the Thunder from Down Under, Gib, also from Pennsylvania? It's time to find out. Michael versus Gib. And we're going to a good old Battlefield Mario stage. So both players can feel a serene sense of peace as they brawl to the death. Now Gib, being a sword fighter, does give her a little bit of an advantage. Trying to get some early damage onto Michael. And Michael not able to really contest just yet, but as I say that, gets a first hit in. And now, both players putting up a pretty good fight. Ooh, some good hits from Michael, and Gib has not been able to recover any or has not been able to connect any further damage from the first bit early on in this match 30 seconds going by already give already almost a kill percent and michael doing a very good job of just punishing right now anytime that gib enters his range it seems like michael's ready with a combo but gib finally able to knock him off that perch see if he can connect in anything and right now gib those nares just punishing michael a good up air is he going to be able to connect onto it? Doing a little bit of juggling, but Gib finally able to escape. Connects onto some up airs of, the mo of their own. Oh. Neither player yet. Looking to be in too bad of a position, and Michael takes the first stock off of Gib. Gib about to be on their final smash, though. Really wants to punish Michael here and take Michael out before needing to use it. Decides to try to use it to take the first stock, and what a misplay. It's going to go right under the third platform, and now Michael with such a huge advantage. <coughs> He's able just to wait that final smash out, get some good damage here onto Gib, and almost being at his final smash, this is going to be deadly if he can get Gib to any percent where it could kill. And already at 40%, it's not looking like it's too far away. Now the Me Brawler's final smash is going to send it into the middle of the stage, but Michael going to fall! Gib only taking 40% there off of what we surely thought was going to be a kill stock. It's 63%, 73% though. While Gib takes that stock, it's still not looking too good. The percentage heavily favoring Michael. And he's going to get his final smash back first. Being that he died with it and didn't use it, and only used up about half the bar. 
He's already about to be situated on another one. With the damage coming out from Yib, looks like he is going to be able to get it pretty soon. It's going to be curious if he decides to... Oh, and he's not even going to need it. Gib gonna fall to the up air or to the up tilt once again. Oh, and Michael decides just to use it, equalize the percentage. Get Gib up into the air, and maybe even jump up and try to combo into it. Tries to jump up, tries to connect something here. Gib situated on the final smash needs to try to find a situation where th where they could try to just force Michael off the stage. Looked like Michael was gonna be able to avoid that, but he's not. Good job from Gib. Able to get themselves both onto the final stock, but Gib at 78%, it's not looking great for them. But we saw them do this against Baxter. We saw them at a disadvantage and be able to come back, but Michael has just been looking formidable this tournament. Misses the spike, but at 99%, Michael at 19%, it looks like it's going to be Michael's game. Gib has to try to find some way in here, try to find some way to connect onto some damage. 128%, and Michael looking to finish the job. Gib with a good little sequence, able to bring Michael about to 40%. 50%, and now, one good hit. Ooh, from Michael is still going to seal the deal at 150. But Gib, very close to being able to get Michael back into his own kill percent. Able to hit the counter, 60% for Michael. Every hit that Gib's connecting, adding easily another 70%. The footstool! And Gib, at 150%, is able to finish off Michael with a beautiful footstool. How does Gib do this? How are they able, from the brink of death every time, two stocks down, to be able to pull this off? Beautiful stuff from Gib! And now we have our final. It's gonna be Ann Butler, the, the midshipman from, uh, the, the midshipman versus Gib, the, the thunder from down under. <clears throat> and as we go into this final, it's gonna be an epic, an epic battle. And who's been looking in phenomenal form thus far, but Gib, who just can't seem to lose that final stock. Early on, and just trying to get this early damage and not letting Gib get anything here in this early bit of the battle. The grenade gonna come out. Ooh, the grenade gonna come out. The mine's gonna come out. Just anything that Anne can do just to keep this me sword fighter away. And though so far, Gib has been doing a very good job just getting in and trying to connect on the damage and Anne. Just laying more and more traps. Gib not falling for him just yet. Ooh, but 80% already, and Anna's been doing a phenomenal job. 90%. And one good hit could finish the job here for the first stock. The throw onto the grenade. Is that going to be enough? No, the helicopter blade is going to be able to get her back up. And gets Gib off the stage once again. The grenade not going to connect onto the edge guard. Ooh, and a good up hit. And not able to connect onto it just yet, 76%. And now, 159%. Gib, almost ready to fall. But not looking to just yet. And needs to land a good up throw into an up air. Could kill, but Gib going to be the one to find the first stock. But at 159%, you got to imagine Ann's not going to let it rest for long. And that's going to be enough. Both players on their, are both fighters, they're not players, the CP is, on their 0% second stock, and gonna be on their final smash right off the bat. It's gonna be interesting how she decides to use this one. Ooh! But Gib gonna be allowed to recover there. I thought it could get interesting for a second. Ooh! It looked like Anne was about to shield that, but doesn't look to be the case, and now Anne, it makes you wonder if she's thinking about using this final smash just to try to get Get this second stock off of Gib. Try to force that final smash back down to about 50%. Gib gonna be able to recover. 80% from Gib. And around 80% from Anne. And Gib gonna use the final smash. The range doesn't look like it's gonna be enough though to kill onto Anne. And Anne gonna be able to recover. So now Anne with a huge advantage here. Gib's not getting that final smash back for a while. And it looks like it's gonna be an easy kill with a me gunner. And that's correct. 87% on Anne. Gib with one stock to go, but Gib has just not been able to lose this final stock, no matter how hard we've tried. Or how hard the opponents have tried. Ooh, 13%. We've seen Gib get up to pretty high percentage numbers before uh, finishing off these games. 150, 160, and now in on the final stock. And now, it's the final stock in the finals of the Ultimate Battle of Ultimate Friends. 
And this is gonna decide it all. Early damage onto Gib. 50% already from Ann. Ann's just been using these grenades and mines to perfection. Just able to punish Gib anytime Gib tries to get close. You can see Ann still at 0%. Gib already at 100. But you gotta be careful, and Gib's been able to punish people off this edge several times this tournament. It's how, she got, it's how Gib got themselves into the semifinals, into the finals. But 135% and still zero onto Ann. Ann is playing this to absolute perfection. And now, Gib is going to land the final smash. But at 0%, this isn't going to do anything to Ann. Ann able to easily recover onto the left edge. 135% onto Gib, but Gib looks to finally be awakened, trying to get in here. Try to connect onto anything they can do to get themselves a victory here at the first ever Ultimate Battle of Ultimate Friends. Ooh, not going to be able to land the punish in the air from Anne. The grenade going to go just over Gib's head. Oh, the counter comes out, or the perfect shield comes out. It's not going to be quite enough to finish the job. Anne already at, at her final smash. Is she going to finish the job at the final? No, just an up air is going to do it. And that's going to be Anne claiming the first ever Ultimate Battle of Ultimate Friends. She overcame Alex. She overcame Eugene. And here at the end, Gib is her third head on the spike. And now, Anne finds herself as the ultimate victor from the Ultimate Battle of Ultimate Friends. A phenomenal job from Anne. The claps all around. And Gib, you put up a great fight from the brink of death twice. And it looked close there at the end. But Anne... Just able to play a beautiful game of Smash Ultimate, being able to completely dominate the competition. And now, thank you all for watching. We hope you all enjoyed. And we'll see you guys next time with Ultimate Battle of Ultimate Friends 2.